Hi, welcome to My Catch Your Life. What we have here is a simple hack, really. Uh, what we have is an old pair of video glasses, as you see there. Um, uh, two designs, actually. An Olympus Eye Trek, you can see that. And what seems to be what an EZ Vision ripoff. So basically, it can connect to your video sources, which is all of these, and hopefully uh, the iPhone. Um, and what I've done is taken out this the circuit board rests over the eyes. Took that out and. Um, See that the circuit board over the bridge of the nose and two LCD monitors. Those white squares there. And you can find uh, polarized glasses from the cinema. I recommend these because you can actually cut these lenses to fit in whatever you want over them. So you can mod those. And the first one is the yeah, iTrek. I thought I used this because it uses um, mirrored optics. Yeah. The LCD is pointing down. Optics here enlarges the image and puts them out. Um, you see that? There we go. Well, that covers 90% of the eye, so whatever you see, you'd be partially blind from this side of the eye. And the actual design makes it so that um, difficult for me to put video board anywhere else but over the bridge of the nose I could actually um, wire this LCD backwards and solder it onto here with the next extended lead but um, it's fairly awkward so I left it like this and bear in mind if I just stick this on. Um, it looks stupid more so than ever because I have this video board covering the eyes. Um, anything above eye level I can't see so I have to physically look up and again most of my vision on this side is gone because of the screen but the advantage is I can look at small um, subtitles or script over this monitor and it works fairly well plus the video driver unit a seven volt needs a seven volt supply. Uh, it's hard to get the batteries for these, so what I'm doing is using a power supply, which means that I'm tethered, tethered to the power supply, which removes the element of portability. Uh, the second design, like I said is off a cheap copy of the uh, video glasses you see the two monitors over the eyeballs and you've got earphones left and right and what I've done is basically rip that off and I have two monitors So basically, 
it looks like a square, black square. And what I've done, ripped a small square hole over the right eye. And using a glue gun, hot glue gun, a normal glue gun like this. Um, basically glued small dots over the edges and then adjust the camera or the monitor and then add more glue, adjust it again, add more glue and adjust it so I got the angle just right. Uh, if you can actually see that angle isn't square on, it's slightly off center. That's just right for me because what I can now do is look directly ahead but if I want to see the monitor it's maybe four or five degrees off center and I see the monitor. Um, with this one particularly it's just a LCD screen with a bulbous uh, magnifying glass so it's a whole unit but uh, because of that I can actually see um, subtitle film or anything with script I can read off there but you know just off angle um, I recommend having it at eye level so you're looking at things uh, you just have to turn your eyes off center and it's there if you're putting it above eye level you're straining a bit just to see that monitor and probably nine times out of ten um, looking up is more of a strain than looking off center but that's my view anyway um, ribbon cable to the video driver board, video driver board into plugging board. From there on is a long cable, fairly long cable, and there you go. long cable into actual input circuit where the video source can be plugged in, a USB power supply, there's an internal battery here but I um, found out it's broken so I can either replace it or just put a 5 volt supply by USB connection and a switch here. All in all, this is a, a better lightweight design than the other one because video board is just on the side, it's not weighted on the bridge of the nose. And I'm going to put this on now. Um, doesn't look as nearly stupid as the other one, but you know, you've got this monitor here at a funny angle, and this video driver board just to the left. Uh, you have the long lead, it'll basically go behind the ear. So, yeah doesn't actually fall off but it works fairly well um, what I was going to do later on is get some uh, thick diameter heat shrink tubes and pull it over this side just to slightly waterproof that video board and secure that at the moment I'm, I'm using blue tech which actually 
temporarily holds that. I'll probably leave it in just to have it at that angle because that actually works better as is. But otherwise, see that is a better design. Um, it's proposed to have um, uh, augmented reality for the iPhone, probably the iPhone 5 or whatever. Um, Google Glass are already starting to push out some of their product range but they're over a grand, a thousand dollars or whatever. Um, this unit glasses is what seventy, eighty quid on eBay. Twenty quid, twenty pounds for the um, heat shrink, glue, and various other bits and pieces just to construct this. As you can see, the screen plays exactly what a TV screen should play. And I'm using my old iPhone to record this. And it plays just as well. So imagine if you're watching something on this pair of video glasses and you come out to it and you have reality on the other side so this is a small demonstration and a hack of an alternative to Google glasses I guess Anyway, this is my gadget life and you're welcome to it.